I just want to do a video here on something I found. I haven't been able to find videos on YouTube about this either. Um, I run a Spectrum system and on the uh, B Core, the little whoops, and the Yashin QX95, they run the SP Racing uh, F3 Evo board. Um, I found that when I went in to adjust my RX settings in Betaflight, um, I couldn't get above like 1885 or so, 86 in there. Um, I could go down, but up, I couldn't get to the 2000 that's required. So I did some research and I found some, uh, some help. So I'm just going to do a quick video on how to adjust those settings in Betaflight to make it so that it goes between the 1000 and 2000. Um, <clears throat> and uh, hopefully it helps somebody else out out there. Alright, so of course you open beta flight, connect your little quad, um, and then we'll go to the receiver tab. You want to have your transmitter bound and connected as well. Um, I'm going to include the literature that I found for this in the description. There's a link to the web page. Um, there's plenty of videos on how to set your endpoints and center up your subtram. Um, as you can see, all of mine are pretty off. They don't run from the 1,000 to 2,000. I know the numbers, so I'm just going to go through and adjust this in fast mode. Um, hopefully, you all know how to do it. Remember, this is Spectrum. I don't know if there's any issues with the Tyrannus um, doing this or not. Um, my son has a Fly Sky controller, and he didn't have the issues. I just had the issues here with the Spectrum. So I'll go through and adjust the sub trims and the endpoints and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay. So um, when you're setting these endpoints, like it, the reason you're watching this is because you can't get them to 2000. So um, you got to give them that happy medium so they're even in between. Uh, mine's um, 1,120 to 1,880. Um, I can't go higher than, if you look at my throttle there, like 1,883. So you don't want to go right to that max. You want to go a little bit lower so that you have a little bit of wiggle room. Adjust this back down. right there okay <clears throat> so you need those numbers you're gonna need minimum 1120 maximum of 1880 so once you have all that set up centered got those all changed go to the CLI we're gonna change the ranges in here um, you need to know your channels and how they're numbered in beta flight so for roll it's zero, pitch is one, yaw two, throttle is three. And you're gonna type RX range. The channel you want to change to zero for roll. And then your minimum. And then your maximum. Push enter. And you can do all these at once. Once you have them all entered, you can hit save or enter save. Reconnects. If you go to your receiver tab, you should be able to see that your range is now correct. For some reason, it's throwing off my centers. I'll adjust those later, but you can see that now your range is. You can get them to go between the 1,000 and 2,000. And trust me, your quadcopter will fly a lot better. Um, if you mess up in the CLI and don't uh, don't get your numbers right, you notice later, you just type RX range reset. Um, enter that and save, and that will reset them back. And then you can make an adjustments again, and you can just readjust over. 
Um, if you want to see what those RX ranges are, you can just type in RX range. And there you go. And disconnecting me for some reason. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I couldn't find anything on this. Um, I'll link below the paperwork I found on it when I finally did a search. Um, I've done it to both of my little quadcopters and it's worked great. Um, uh, please like and subscribe my channel. Um, I'm new to FPV, but I feel like I'm finding things to post out there that still haven't been covered. Um, my flying is getting better. It's a little fun to watch. Uh, it's always a watch to, fun to watch the newbie progression, right? All the fun wrecks and things like that. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.